Let's look at one more example. Okay. Let's say we have 16% per annum compounded every three months. So what happens to one rand in one year? So I use my normal formula to calculate effective interest rate. Sorry, I didn't write it there. But what would the effective interest rate be? Well, I invest one rand, sorry, for one year. So 16% would be 16%. Oh, actually, let's write down the information. Okay, I don't know my future value, I know my present value, I want to see what happens to one rand in one year. What is my interest rate be? Well remember, it's not my annual interest rate, it is the interest I earn each time. I earn 16% per annum, but I get it every three months. So how many times in a year did I get that? I got it four times in a year, because this there would be four sets of three months. So I must divide my interest with four to calculate how much will I get each time. And because of the percentage, um, I must also divide by 100. But 16 divided by four is 4%, four so 0 0,04 is my interest that I earn each time, interest rate actually. How many times do I get it? Well again, I'm doing it for one year. And how many times am I getting it in one year? I'm getting it four times. So what happens? Substitute into my formula one one plus zero comma zero four to the power of four. Hope all of these fours don't confuse you. And then one that calculated gives me one comma one six nine nine. In other words, and what would my interest be? Remember, that's my future value. I'm just concerned about my interest. What would my interest be? It's subtract the original one rand invested. I subtract the original one rand that was invested, and that's just equivalent to 16,99%. Almost 17% effectively. You're almost earning an extra percent just because your interest is not calculated at the end of the year but at the end of every three months your money starts earning money earlier in the year and that is why okay and if you are one of those people that prefer remembering formulas here's a formula that you can use to calculate the effective interest okay. i'll explain it in just a moment So, in this formula, you will see simply that this would be your nominal interest rate, or your effect, sorry, this is your effective. This is your effective interest rate, and that is your nominal interest rate, in other words, the one that was quoted. And if you substitute into this formula, M just represents how many times in a year are you going to get it. This, uh, just so that you're not confused, this exponent that looks like an exponent, it's not really an exponent, it's just a notation to express. So in other words, if I see i to the power of 2, well not the power of 2, out, i with that, um, is 8%, and okay, then I know, uh, sorry, not 8%, yeah, 8% is fine, okay, then I know that means I, my nominal interest rate is 8% per annum, but it is compounded twice a year. I get it twice a year or by annum, and that is what that means. So let's use that in, in our exponent, uh, in our calculation, 1 plus i to the 
um, is equal to 1 plus, now I, uh, well, nominal interest rate compounded twice a year is 8% divided by 2 to the exponent of 2. Now, I calculate this now, I get 1 plus I is equal to 1 plus 4% squared gives me 1 comma 0 0.0816 and now if I just solve I, I get 0 comma 0 0.0816 very simple, very quick, if you remember the formula I don't like remembering formulas I'd much rather remember one formula and from there try and do everything and all you need to remember is Calculate effective interest rate. I want to know what happens to each of my one rands that I invest if I invest it for one year. Because effective interest rate is what happens effectively in one year to my money. Cool. I hope you guys understood the long video, but I'm sure it explained it well and you will be able to do it. Good luck.